Hey, what is up, guys? This is my official review of Black Ops Exterminator Revolver. Right, I'm going to show you guys how to load it. Then I'm going to do a shoot test for you. So, these are the capsules you put the BB in. To take 0.20, that's like the max size, but I found uh, 0.12 gram BBs also work. So, take this, you just. Crap. Alright, that, that's just one BB. Mini. Okay, take this. See, it's right there. That's not right. You gotta. Sure, I click. That's what you gotta do. And now, I'm gonna do that with all the other ones. It's pretty easy to load. Uh, windy day, uh, and yeah, so we're all loaded. So now, crap. What we're gonna do is now is it is on safety. See, it's all the way back. Now I'm gonna push it all the way forward. Now she got the that's the mag release. Now I'm gonna load them all in. I've already shot this once, um, shot it about five minutes ago, off camera. Uh, now that's loaded in. Put it on safety until we're officially ready to shoot. Never put your finger on trigger. So this is double action, so look. See, like, say you can cock it back and shoot it. Say you're, you cocked it back and you don't want to shoot it. If you hold this back and pull the trigger at the same time, it easily puts it back without shooting. Alright, so, now, I'd rather eat than this. Go to that can and show it. I'm going to be keeping it up here. Alright, come on back. And this is said to go up to 510 FPS. The longer version is like 450 FPS. I got the 2.5 inch um, barrel. Uh, basically a snub nose. Uh, this is modeled after the Black Ops... The after the after eh, the revolver in Black Ops One, it even has the same like iron sights. And this is a detachable rail. I think I'm gonna detach it because I don't really like it. Because I don't not I don't really need it. Like since I'm not gonna, I don't plan on putting a scope or anything. And it just seems like it's pointless. And the longer versions have one down here on the barrel, but okay now. Ethan, Ethan, go over there. Now, um, we're gonna zoom in on the spot. I'm gonna be shooting uh, the thing. And as you can see, the red can is like right there. So we'll see it. After that, we'll see the aftermath. Uh, since I'm not too keen to shooting this gun yet, it might, I might not be the best shot. It is CO2, it does take CO2, so. First shot. Okay, I didn't hit. And guys, you don't have to pull this back. See, you can uh, straight up shoot. But I like the aspect of it because it just seems cooler. Yeah, I think I hit it again. Did I hit it again? Did you hear it? Oh, I saw that one. Alright, and that's how you know it's done when it makes that little empty sound. And just to make sure, take out our bullets. And, yep, they're all done. So, put this back in. Put your gun on safety. Make sure it's clicked all the way back. Put the bullets down. Now I'll take the camera and we'll go look at the aftermath. Okay, so, as I can see, all right, all right, I dented it here. All right. I dented it there. Uh, this is you this shot one. A, that's no. This that is from just, another one I did uh, when I was uh, just test firing that's it for myself. That's actually new. That's actually new because no, the not. other camera was no, when not, you shot it. For. This is one I was doing earlier. Uh, and there's another one. And that's where this one came through. Went through there. You can see how it's like. Dang, that's how up, bad. Like, how bad? That's how good it is. Um, I mean. So yeah guys, hope you like this uh, fire test and check out my unboxing and this is the official review.
and bye.